Hello, Mary. Good evening. Hi, yeah. Mary. Can you? Yes. Can you hear me well, Mary? Yes. Oh, very good. Okay. So, how are you tonight? I'm good. Wow, that's great to know. Okay. Um, what did you have for dinner tonight, Mary? I have. About rice. Mm. rice and chicken is it fried chicken yes very good okay what's the weather there in your place mm. Pardon, Mary, it is? It's uh, windy and cold. Windy and cold. All right. So it is actually the same here in my place. Okay. What time did you get home today, Mary? I just home at um, 4, 4. Her tea. Mm -hmm. 4 30. Very good. Okay. And what time did you get up today? Get up last seven. Yes. At seven. Very good. Okay. How did you go to school? Go to school with my. Very good. Okay, how many subjects did you learn today, Mary? Wow, that's wonderful. And which one um, do you hate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which subject did you hate? Math. Math. Very good. Because it was kind of hard, right? Yes. That's right. Okay. So anyway, last week, we started with this story. It is all about the house in the forest. And we finished the first part of this story. Okay. Then for tonight, we're going to continue with... The second part of the story. So I want you to look and read, Mary, please. The children went inside the house. Sally took them up her room. They talked and played all afternoon. The friends say, look at the time. We must go home. The children say goodbye to Sally, went downstairs, and bucket home quickly. They were happy to make a new friend. Very good. Thank you so much for reading this one, Mary. Okay, you are actually a fast reader. So, wow, that's nice to know. However, Mar uh, Mary, there is only one word that you mispronounced. So, I want you to say, walked. Walked. Could you please say, walked? Walked. Very good. We don't say walk it on that one. All right. So here, Mary, what are you going to do? If you can remember, okay, since you already know the second part of the story, so you're going to complete the sentences in numbers three and four. All right, Mary? Yes. Very good. Okay, now look and read, please. The children. The children. When... After to Sally, to share 
Room. Yes, very good. What about number four? What did the children do with Sally all afternoon? Huh? Uh, talk and play all afternoon. That is right. Very good, Mary. Okay, now... How about here? I want you to continue reading. When when they got home. When they go home, uh, they got home. The children told their parents all about their day. Their father said, "I'd like to see this house." On Sunday, the children and their father looked. Look for Sally help. They walked for a long time, but they couldn't find it. They couldn't find understand. Understand it. Their father asked, Did you see it in a dream? The children were very surprised. Did they dream it? They start to walk home slowly. Suddenly, Fred saw to the home between some trees. Sally came, Sally came out and said, Hello, they were very happy to see her again. Very good. Nice because all pronunciation and intonation are correct, Mary. So great job for that. Now, there are three more items. So same thing, you're going to read it and complete the sentences. Let's start with number five. At home, the children told their blank about Sally and the house. What's your answer here, Mary? Dream. Dream. Okay, is that your final answer? Okay, let me help you. I will give you a chance to change your answer. Who did the children tell about Sally and the house? Father. Was it only their father? Parents. That's right. So at home, the children told their parents about Sally and the house. Now, what about number six? Your turn, Mary. Walk for the house. Walk. For the house, try again. What did Fred, Anna, and their dad do? What's your answer, Mary? Okay, what did, okay, actually this is they look for the house and their dad thought that it was just a dream because they couldn't find it. Now, what about number seven? The children were very blank when they saw Sally again. What's the missing word here, Mary? How did the children feel when they saw Sally again? Happy. 
Yes. So the children were very happy. Great. So do you have any question about the story, Mary? No. No. Okay. Now here, for that one, you've got one, two, let me see. Okay, you've got one, two, three, and four. Nice. So that is four out of five. Very good, Mary. Not bad, actually. Almost a perfect score. So, of course, you have one, two, three, and four stars. Nice, Mary. Now, Mary, I'm going to ask you something about the story to test whether you really understood the story while you were reading it. All right? Yes. Okay. Now, who did the children go with to look for the house? The children go with their dad. Very good. When did they look? For Sally's house. Then look the house is between some tree. Okay, listen carefully. When did they look for Sally's house? On Sunday. That's right. Why did the father thought that the children were just dreaming because because they walked for a long time but they couldn't find it that's right very good mary okay so additional one star for you okay have you ever seen a house in the middle of the forest mary Oh. Uh, no, because most of the houses are in the city. Yes. Okay. Now, let's look at this one, Mary. Arm. So, we're going to learn some words. So, I want you to look, listen, and repeat. We have... Arm. Arm. Very good. Shoulder. Shoulder. Very good. Okay. Now, Mary... This is my arm. I can bend my arm. Now, what about you, Mary? How many arms have you got? I have two arms. Very good. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, now look. How many, Um, actually, here. Can you show me your shoulders, Mary? Where are your shoulders? Can you show me your shoulders? Okay. Oh, by the way, you, you turned off your camera. So here are my shoulders. Now, Mary, I want you to move your shoulders forward like this. One, two, three. Then backward. One, two two three okay now let's um move our arms by turning it around how do we do that i want you to do it like this one are you following mary okay could you please turn on your camera mary so that i can see you there you go now let's move our arms three times like this okay hands up hands up first very good then let's move. One, two, three. Very good. Now your turn. You do it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now backwards. Backwards, the other way around. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Okay, now... Move your shoulders forwards, Mary, three times. One, two, three. Now backwards. One, backwards. Two, 
Three. Very good. Now, finally, we have, we, that was a basic exercise. Give me a high five, Mary. Nice. Okay, so now you know where are your shoulders and arms. Now, Mary, how many shoulders have you got? Very good. Okay. Now look, listen, and repeat. Stomach. Um, but... Very good. Leg. Leg. Nice. Okay. Now this is our stomach. When we eat something, all our food go. Uh, we put the food in our mouth. It goes through our stomach. Then the stomach will digest the food. Okay, so how many stomach have you got, Mary? Two stomach. Two? Are you sure? Um, <laughs> um, actually, that's right. We only have one stomach. Only one. Okay, now look, we have here leg. So we use our legs. When we run, and we have two legs. Do you have short or long legs, Mary? I have normal legs. Normal legs. Very good. Okay, now look, listen, and repeat. We have head. head. Nice. Back. Back. Very good. Okay, now where is your head, Mary? My hand. Yes, that's right. How many head do you have? Hmm. Only one. We only have one head. Like this one. This is our head. Okay, only one head. Okay, now where is your back, Mary? Oh. <laughs> Behind my shoulders. Very good. Behind your shoulders. Nice. Now, if you have one head, then how many back have you got? Back. Only one, too. We only have one back. One back and one head. Don't forget about that one, Mary. Okay. Now, this time, look, listen, and repeat. Neck. Neck. Very good. Okay. Now, Mary, can you touch your neck? Where is your neck, Mary? It's under my head. That's right. Very good. Okay, what do we put on our neck? We put necklace. That is right. Have you got a necklace? Do you have necklace? No. No. All right. Now, Eric. Look. One more time. Earache. Earache. Very good. Okay, so when we say earache, that means your ear is hurting or it's very painful. Okay, then. Toothache. Toothache. Very good. Toothache is when your when one when one of your teeth is um hurting too okay you feel discomfort inside your mouth so that is toothache specifically if it's your tooth okay now look headache okay. very good if somebody would ask you mary what's the matter okay then you would say oh my god I'm having a headache. That means your head is aching so much. It's so painful. Just like what I felt last night. I had a terrible headache. When I got home and during my classes, I was like, oh my goodness, I can't understand how painful my 
head was last night. Yes. Okay. Have you ever got any of these aches, Mary? Yes. Okay, so which no. one have you experienced? Have you experienced an earache? No. No. Tooth what about tooth? Where, oh, tooth. Yes, I once experienced that one when I was a kid. How about these days? Is your tooth still aching? Not anymore. So what did you do with your tooth? Eat rice. You eat rice? <laughs> Actually, when our tooth is aching so much, we have to brush it. Then the more we eat, the more it hurts. Yes. Okay, so we should brush regularly to avoid having toothache. And if we still feel um, discomfort in our teeth, we have to see the dentist. The dentist will do check up on your teeth in your teeth. Then uh, the dentist will tell you, "Oh, okay. Then I have to pull out this uh, um, this tooth because it is decaying." Like that. Okay. So another thing we can also avoid having toothache by. Brushing regularly every day or at least twice a day. Okay, then avoid eating sweets. That is, okay, just like me. When I was six years old, Mary, I had a toothache here. Okay, but when I visited the dentist, the dentist said that uh, she had to pull out that uh, tooth. Okay, so my mother said yes, and I was so scared that time. But, you know, I was so thankful to the dentist because after that, I couldn't feel any pain in my teeth. Yes, and after that one too, I make it a habit to brush my teeth every day at least twice a day. Okay, so you do that one. To you too, Mary. Always brush your teeth morning and at night. All right. So now, Mary, look, listen, and answer in a complete sentence. Okay, let's give it a try. What's the matter with this woman? Ever. Beaver, let's see. Da -da -da -ding -ding -ding. This is actually when you say, Hachoo! What's that? Okay, it's here. Cold. Okay, so she is having cold. Okay, when someone is having cold, that means they have a runny nose, they have cough, their head is aching, and sometimes they feel cold so it's like a combination of fever runny nose cough so this is actually terrible so when was the last time that you had a, a cold mary or that you caught a cold yes mary when was the last time that you catch a cold uh, I am fever. Oh, just fever. All right. So, how did you feel when you had a fever? I feel cold. That's right. Very good. Okay, then we have... Temperature. Temperature. <laughs> Very good. When you have a temperature, that means you have a cold, you feel so hot, and... You feel um uh when we touch you, you are so hot, but you're feeling very cold. That means you have a temperature. Okay, this is also related to having a fever. Okay, now look at this one. This is actually what we call a temperature to get the temperature of our body to know whether. We have a fever or not, we have to use this. Oh, this is not 
temperature. I'm sorry. This is actually what we call thermometer. Could you please say it, Mary? Thermometer. Very good. This is um thermometer. It will tell us um what temperature do we have in our body. Okay, for example, if you have a cold or if you have a fever, then you are um you've got this 38 degrees Celsius. If you are if you can see there 38 degrees Celsius, that means you've got a cold. But Okay, if it's just 37 degrees Celsius, that's normal. 37 below, normal. 38 above, that means you have a temp you have a temperature. Is that clear, Mary? Okay. So Mary, um have you got a thermometer in your house? Yes. Very good. So you try to do that one to yourself. Okay, right now you don't have any fever, you don't have any cold. You just have to click it. Okay, then wait until it beeps like toot, toot, toot. Then that's the time that you can put it on your eye, in your underarm or here, like that. You try to suck it in. But usually we would just put it here. Yes, then once it beeps again, tut, 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 then that means you have to see whether you've got a temperature or not. All right. So now you know how to use a thermometer. Okay. Now, look, we have... Cough. What's that, Mary? Just cough. Very good. So cough means just like what I'm feeling right now. I'm having a cough, like... <laughs> like that. Okay. It's probably because you catch some cold or um the air was full of dust. All right. That's why you're coughing. Okay. Now there's more we have here. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Okay. I want you to say stomach ache. Stomach cake. Okay. One more time, please. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Very good, Mary. Okay. Now, let's look at this one. All right. So here, I want you to look and answer and and answer in a complete sentence by choosing the best or co and correct answer. Okay, so look at this one, Mary. What's the matter? Look at the picture, Mary. This is an example. So you're going to answer and choose your uh, and choose the best answer in here based on the picture. Okay, so this boy is holding his ear. Oh, it hurts so much. Then I am the doctor. Hey, what's the matter? Then I would say, I've got an earache. Now your turn, Mary. Look at number two. Um, Hey, what's the matter with you? Yeah. Very good. All right. So you have additional one star for that because it's already time. So we'll just continue on Friday with this one, Mary. So you've got five, six, six stars. All right. So thank you so much for joining our class tonight, Mary. I hope that you learned something from tonight. And I'll be seeing you on Friday. Okay, so bye-bye, Mary. My teacher. Bye.